This is a video that will show you how to link your Google Classroom gradebook to your Infinite Campus gradebook. To first start, you need to go to Google Classroom and click on an individual class. If you haven't been on that class recently, you might see a notification that says link to an SIS class. SIS just means Student Information System, in our case, Infinite Campus. You're going to click on the settings gear in the top right and scroll down a bit so you can link to class under the General tab. Now, you shouldn't get this error, but it's possible that there are no classes found for your email address. If that's true, uh, please reach out to your friendly tech person, and we will look into the we will look into the situation. But for the most part, you're going to be able to scroll, and when you click Link to Class, you're going to be able to find all your different courses that are listed in Infinite Campus. This is really important. You need to match the section number in your Google Classroom course to the section number in Infinite Campus. So right here, it's important that this section number, 041341, matches Google Classroom and Infinite Campus. Okay, so I'm going to click Link here. Once we click Link, it's going to give us a new task. This class is linked with that class. To export classwork and grades from this class, go to the Classroom Grades page. So we're going to go to the Grades tab in Google Classroom. You'll notice in the top right that we have an SIS export. Again, SIS is Student Information System. That is the export to Infinite Campus. All right, so we're going to click on that button, and it's going to give us an option to export different grades. We're going to choose the gradebook assignments that we want to export to Infinite Campus, and it's going to start exporting. This is not an instantaneous process. It takes a couple minutes, so please be patient. When it is done exporting, it will tell you that it's finished. Once it's finished, you can come on over to Infinite Campus and log in using your credentials. And make sure that you go to the gradebook in the appropriate course that you just imported assignments for. You will need to do this for each course that you teach in Google Classroom. You cannot do this all at once for all of your courses. You have to do this for each course and import grades for each course. When I go to gradebook, I'm going to make sure I choose the correct section above and this correct term. As you can tell, there aren't any grades in Infinite Campus right now, so we're hoping that we'll be able to bring them over. You see an uncategorized assignments and five because we're bringing five assignments over from Google Classroom. It's important to note that in order for you to categorize them, you need to create categories. If you haven't done this yet, it's in the settings tab of each course, you can create your categories. Please do that before trying to categorize your assignments. Now, we have categories in place, so we're going to assign this Google Classroom Assignments category. You could make that, you know, assessments or quizzes or classwork or whatever category you wanted to, right? You could assign each assignment a different category. You also have to select a grading task, so you want to make sure you select term grade here or else it's going to give you an error like it's about to give me. Okay, uh, So make sure I select term grade here and I need to check the boxes if I want to fill them all with the same task and category. Once I do that I'm going to click Save All and you'll notice once I close this window that you're going to see all of my grades populate into the gradebook. which is wonderful. This is exactly what we want to do. However, it can be kind of a pain if we have to do this every single time, set the category and the term if it's always going to be the same. You now have non-campus assignment defaults under your settings. If you click on that, you're going to see that you can set a default category and a default standard grading task. Once you do that, your grades will automatically import from Google Classroom when you click the SIS export on Google Classroom and you won't have to define the category and the, and the grading task every single time. What a time saver that could be. The last thing to note is if you have grades that are maybe drafts um, or not turned back in, those grades will not come over into your Google Classroom. And if you rush it, you'll only see that part of your grades are coming over and as you refresh the page in Infinite Campus more grades will come over. So be patient, make sure it finishes the export before you say all my grades haven't come over. Lastly, and maybe most importantly, is that if you want to change a grade 
the way that you should do it is you should change the grade in Google Classroom, return the grade, and then re-export. If you change the grade in Infinite Campus, it will work, but when you choose to export again, uh, the Google Classroom grade will override the grade in Infinite Campus. Because of this, the best practice would be to change the grade first in Google Classroom, and then change it, and then export it to Infinite Campus. As you can see, if we rush the export right here, we're only seeing partial grades. When we click Refresh, we'll see more grades pop in as we go. So we just need to be patient with the export. It happens in live time, that is, that is real live time data. As you can see, it's still exporting. We run back to Infinite Campus and we check it. And we have more grades, but we still don't have all the grades. I hope this helps you get started and I hope it's a huge time saver for everybody. This is an awesome tool that is brand new to us this year. So please let us know if you have any issues.